fucking kidding me? One thing, just one thing to go right. <laughs> that's all I need. I guess that's the thing, right? Like, it keeps you on your toes, this show. Better pray for reception. Hey guys, we're starting a new season of Prison Break. Yay, so they all escaped. They're still running around trying to um, evade the police, right? Because they're all like, all the guards and everybody's just looking for them. Um, some of them were, you know, separated from the group. And like the tweener and um, tea bag. Um, so yeah, it's... <laughs> Life for six counts of kidnapping, rape, oh and first degree murder. Oh my god. And Lincoln Burroughs. So many like different... <laughs> Scheduled to die next week for the murder of President Reynolds' brother. Got him already tense. The show, I swear. Where are they gonna run? Get it, 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 get it. What? Make it to the inside! journal during this period he wrote that the shadow was his friend the night his domain he acknowledged that whatever neuroses drove the criminal to commit the original crime is compounded magnified to take a good look at these faces these men right here are now the eight most wanted men in america God. Ah, how are they gonna make it out of this i don't know i thought i thought this out Five million dollars that Westmoreland planted in the desert in Utah. You don't know what you're talking about. You wish I didn't know. Wait, wait, what money? I mean, he was like right there when he said it. <laughs> Forty. <laughs> don't start denying it. He was like yeah, right next to you. That two artists that gave it to him must have spent a lot of time with him then. I'll find out who it was. Mr. Bellick. Don't talk to me. Fine, but it's gonna make collaboration kind of hard. We're hot on these guys' trail, and it's just a matter of time till we nail them. The problem I find with being on a trail is that by definition, they'll always be behind your prey. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. <laughs> right, he's like pretty out there. The door is only open from the outside. Mm. Glass is two inches thick, bulletproof. Mm. There's no getting out of here, young woman. It's a young woman. I understand young lady, yeah, but like wow. artist was unbelievable. What else? What can you tell me about him as a person? Uh, he was cool, you know. But uh, talk about a detail Nazi, everything had to be perfect, exactly as he drew it. I always sort of had the feeling that the whole thing was some sort of inside joke that only he was in on. What was the name of that long road we took to get to the prison? I think it was English Street. Mm. And out in front of the prison, the two streets that intersected them. Fitz and Percy Y. Thank you. <gasps> Saddle up. I like this actor, though, so we I'm can stop excited being cons, to see. Start being mm -hmm. Hunting. Get away, Gracie. Get away. Get back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get those guys from Fox River. Don't any of you move if you can muscle. You can't really hate this guy, right? Or you can't really hate the guy that's trying to catch them because they're doing their jobs. Like, to them, these are rapists and killers and thieves and like bad people which it makes it really 
you know, different because usually, you know, you have like a clear cut, okay, this is a bad guy, like this is a good guy, whatever. But here it's like, like even, uh, um, what is it, Bellic? Sure, he's a asshole, right? Because he's throwing Twinner, Twinner into like that um, cell knowing perfectly well that he's getting raped, right? He knows what's gonna happen and he actually is using that to like torture him mentally because like he wants information and he's not getting him the information all that stuff so he's not a good person but the aspect of him doing everything that he can to like catch them and keep them from like getting their plan fulfilled like that aspect is like okay that's him doing his job right so it's it's Relax. Right, like to, his, to this guy, there's like there's so, five prisoners. You stay where you are. With no, his no. daughter. John, oh, put hey. the gun down. Put the gun down. Let her go. go. Let her go. Let her go. John, let put go of the girl. Put the gun down. You go. shut up. Let her go. Put it down. Drop the gun. You drop the gun. Put it down, boo, uh, bitch, booch. Excuse me, booch. Good boy. <laughs> like that's your kid. Just like Get take, the gun. take your kid and leave. Pick it up. Don't you hurt her. Don't hey, you lay up. It's not the fright of his life. I mean, how else, mm -hmm. how else are we going to get out of there? Like, I know they're all, like, he's looking at uh, uh, John like, oh my god, you bastard. But did you have any other plan? Like, how else are you going to get out of that situation? That was the only way. I'm sorry. He wasn't going to kill this kid, I don't think. But he needed leverage, and he got the leverage because, like, how else? Talk to the guy to convince him to let them go? No, that was not gonna work. <laughs> oh, this guy's about to have a day. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sat the agreement not open. Well, that's sort of the point. Sorry, sir. See? I'm gonna need some work done, and I'm gonna need it done uh, privately. Okay. I'm gonna get an ambulance. Mm. Oh. Nobody's gonna be doing any calling here, Doctor. Fine. What do you want? Fix my hand. I want I tie out of the car right now, man. That was a little girl. Okay. Don't you have a heart? Did you have any other plan? God, I have a daughter. I have a little girl. I got one too. If I hadn't done what I had to do, we wouldn't be on our way to see him right now, would we? What about it? My girl's pregnant, bro. Understand? Oh my God, you can't go you home right now. Weakness right now. And they know about it. Doesn't mean that's to stop you. You just gotta be smart about it. Yeah, do like. Get to us, we go. Us, we go was not on Lose the their track like, and like it's not figure where shit later. Like, like Abruzzi could have easily just like kill this kid, kill this guy, so he wouldn't tell the cops that he saw them and tell them that they stole his car, right? I'm not saying that he's a nice guy, and he probably would have done it if he had been by himself, but he didn't. He just needed to scare the shit out of those guys so he would drop his gun, you know what I mean? And you schemed for months. Until you get it right. Every single element. I want divers down in the river. Hmm. God, he's smart. No. Young woman. Young woman. Stop calling her. That's so weird. Do not. There you go. Pardon me. Hmm. Schofield's paperwork. Get it to me. That credit card stuff. Right here, Kevin. God damn it. Now they know where they're going. Of course. Where is he going to put all the crap you need to disappear? We're going to Oswego, boys. Watch you change clothes. 
figured, you know. Thanks. Oh, nice. Your purse. You left it in the infirmary. I'm in a lot of trouble, I think. I, um, I need to apologize to you. You told him? You're just doing it. Is that you never outsource the blame that belongs in your own backyard? Yeah, like you have nothing to be to apologize for. She made oh. the choice, and she's the one that screwed up and put you in the You're situation. You're not the first correctional worker that fell like, for. Like she's the one that should apologize to you because she's the one that put you in the in that position where you where you job was threatened and you were almost fired if you didn't like talk. Not the other way around. But it it also tells us a lot about who she is person right and she felt really bad that she betrayed her friend even though it wasn't like a betrayal there's nothing to betray if anything she was the one that was betrayed you know you fell for her huh <clears throat> where's Oswego half mile maybe good <sighs> they're gonna get caught there what are you gonna do my teeth, I eat Percocet all day just to dull the pain of my miserable existence. You have no idea what I've been through. What you've been through? This isn't about you, Terrence. Don't. Yeah, by the President of the United States. It's on the car. I'm sorry, sir. Gonna I, say, I, like, I don't think I... Look. They're gonna think you're crazy. Are they actually gonna send a car? Because if I were to, like, if I knew that she, the president is dead and all this crap, I'll be. God, he's what? such a good actor. Look at I him, he's terrifying. Know. It's gonna be backwards. Story of my life. <laughs> I'll have to put you on. Do I really look that stupid? Sir, I cannot do a procedure like this without an anesthetic. Let's go. Set us up. Mm. Nothing. Oh. oh, that kid's clever. Mm. It's not a place. It's a name. Your PDA, you got it? Yeah. Bring up the census of this county. Far back as it goes. You are one sick cat, you know that? Yeah. <sighs> What are you looking for? We gotta go to the cemetery. Oh, fuck. Now. Quickly, get the hell out of there. Nice. Trousers are a little bit too short, don't you think? Chop your feet off, you're good at that. This jacket ain't exactly the best thing, you know what I'm saying? You want variety? Hit target. Guys, guys, we should know that at some point they're gonna go their separate ways, right? They're not gonna stick together forever. Like, I'm surprised that, you know, they, they should be grateful that Michael's, like, at least carrying them this far. Like, after the plane, I would've been like, okay, that did not work out. Everybody goes their separate ways, bye. I have my own shit, <laughs> my own plan B. Oh, fuck, see? Do you know what time it is? Oh, sorry. What the hell? Who we'll grabs someone like that just to ask for the time? Excuse me? Veronica. Oh Veronica. my god, are you gonna kill her right now? Oh my god. Veronica. Oh my god, did they kill her? Seriously? What? I thought she was a main character. Oh my god, I did not see this coming. 
That's for your little toy here. It's contraband. You going to tell us how you got it in there? I brought it when I got here. Whatever for? To protect myself. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for. That is shocking. I was not expecting that at all. Which makes me very excited because, you know, now you know this show is like... The stakes. <laughs> the stakes are, are high. Schofield had the entire thing on his body. How to get out of that prison, how to disappear afterward. It's all there. I promise you that it's only a matter of time before we know everything that is in Schofield's hand. Yeah. Where he plans to run to, how he plans to get there. So when the time comes that he does get there, we'll be waiting for him. Holy shit. Wow, what a season premiere. Like, first of all, yeah, Veronica. Killed in the first episode of the second season. What? I thought she was going to get further than that. I thought she was going to make it to the end. I thought she and Lincoln were going to end up together. Because that's what we're kind of programmed to think. Usually when you see a show, you know, you have like the, the romantic interest of one of the leads. And, you know, like she... She seemed very important to the plot, but her whole thing was to get Lincoln out, right, and find Stedman, and she did, and then boom, she gets killed. That's... The show has balls. It has balls, because honestly, this is something that I was not expecting, and that not a lot of shows do, because she's... She's kind of like a main character, right? And then they just like kill her because really her her plot, like her arc or whatever it is, her, her purpose and everything already ended. And she serves more of a purpose dead now, I guess, than alive. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. I still think that she had more to give I, I i did really like her character so that's why it's kind of like i don't i don't know what to think i'm just in shock right now like there's a part of me that's really pissed off because like why would you kill her she's such a great character and you know we we need someone from the outside who's investigating all this shit not just to help lincoln but to uncover all the secrets and all the 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 conspiracies and all the bullshit, right? And now that that person's gone. So what's going to happen? Who's going to do all these, like, things from the outside? Who's going to keep investigating? Nobody has any reason to now, except for Lincoln himself, if he manages to make it. So that, in a way, I'm like, really? But... It's also very ballsy because, like, they, they, they probably have something planned. Like, they can't just, like, get rid of this character just for shock value. Like, they have to have a reason to do this. And I appreciate that they raise the stakes, you know? And it's not just like dangling danger. It's like, oh, you know, she's in danger, but she's, she's, she's a main character. She's going to get out of this situation um, without, you know, getting hurt or whatever. But no, like, they just killed her. That's just, what? <laughs> oh, so I don't know what to think. I'm conflicted. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see where they take this, you know, how this is going to affect Lincoln and the story. I, I hope that they can find a way to still have someone, I don't know, investigate all this crap that's happening with Stedman. Because now, she's the one that got that far. Nobody else has any idea. So what's gonna happen? I don't know. Um, I really like the FBI agent. I don't know his name, and I don't know the actor's name, but he's really good, and I really... It, it's really tense because he's really smart. And now he has all the tools to find Lincoln. So it's kind of like this, like, cat and mouse, right? 
And I love that because he just makes you so tense. I'm not saying that Bellic wasn't smart, but like it just this just adds another level. Um and it's just like it's so great to see two really, really smart people, you know, trying to get something. Like they, they have different purposes or like well not different because conflicted, conflicting purposes because or motivations or whatever. Because like Lincoln and Michael their whole thing is to get out. But then you have this like really smart FBI agent on their trail. So it makes it so captivating and just like a, you're at the edge of your seat the entire time. It's amazing. I love this episode. Ah, oh, I still can't believe they did that. Holy shit. I'm, I'm in shock. Wow. I seriously, I was expecting her to like call and in the back of my mind, I was like, they're probably listening. Like they are probably, they're smart enough to have some countermeasure just in case something like this happens. But I didn't think they were just gonna shoot her and that she was gonna die. God. Wow. Anyways, thanks guys. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye. In Mexico right now, sipping on margaritas, waiting for the heat to dip. That was the plan. I mean, they got you out. They just but... used to sedate it, man. We'll go for this. Where's Michael? Over here. Okay. Hey, you know what, Sucre? Maybe you and I should go and get that $5 million. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just sitting there in Tula, Utah, ready to get some air. You want to stay here and shut your God. mouth? One more time to touch me, man. Guys, right. guys, chill. What? I wonder what happened to the other guy. They all had a head start. Except the teabag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he was bleeding pretty bad. I think he's dead. Nope. Oh my god. But we can't do this now. There's no plan in place. Believe me, I know that courthouse have been there more times than I can remember. The only person guarding him is the bailiff. He carries mace and a big stick. So you're gonna bum rush the courthouse. That's your plan. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, yo, we headed out, man. They'll get him. It's been handed over to the FBI. Well, that doesn't mean it can't work. It does, actually. You and I have been pulled off the pursuit. Why? Well, we're gonna find out shortly. We have to report to the DOC headquarters. I will meet you there. Sir, we can get these guys. You just give me a couple more days and I swear I'll get them. That is absolute hogwash. Oh, Please gosh. answer the question. Is that another How way for bullshit? Is he bullshit? Have exclusive access to you, pull a shank on you, and bind you to your chair. The warden or the penitentiary. I trusted him. Obviously, he betrayed that trust. Believable. While we're wasting time in here, there are eight escaped convicts out there. Fox River is a correction Look at his smug security. face. Yes. I didn't know time was That'll be all, of any Officer talk Bellic. Escape. That will be all. Warden, you and Officer Bellic can step out into the hallway. We'll call for you when we've reached a decision.
Hey man, you look familiar. Did you rush Sig F last semester? Sig what? Stop looking so suspicious. How are we doing here? Oh, God. I'm so nervous. Nothing until tomorrow. I got 45 bucks. How far will I get? Relax, stop looking so suspicious. Let's do this. I got one more stop. I mean, you're, you're putting a lot on your, like, that your boys are gonna know what the fuck you're talking about. It's smart enough to decipher this code of yours. Oh, yeah. Kill. Another in battle. He absorbs that fallen warrior's spirit. So this isn't the end for you, Doc. This is not a battle. Not in the end. <laughs> Go with me now. Officer Brad Bellick will be terminated effective immediately. Oh, shit. Mr. Bellick, you can retrieve whatever belongings you may have from Fox River. That'll be all. I've, uh, I've worked at Fox River uh, since I was 18 years old. Being a CO is my life. And we appreciate that. Look, you know, we could have saved a lot of time if you would have just told us from the beginning that this was going to be a railroad. That'll be all, Ward. There is only the government is capable of so many underhanded things. You sure are playing fast and loose with me. What are you going to do, throw another fake murder charge on me? Who's Otis right? I have no idea. I think you do. And if you don't tell me, after you're convicted, I will be in that courtroom when you're sentenced, and I will hang you out to try. Take it to the bank. Escort the boy. He's too smart. Ah, I hate it. But good. He's so good, but I just hate it. <laughs> what is he planning? Keep in the holster. No one gets hurt. Keep it in the holster. Alright. LJ, hit stop. He's coming with us. The only way he's getting out of this place is oh. the only way. Shoot him. Dad. Shoot him. <laughs> Dad. At least in the arm. Should have just shot him in the shoulder or something. I mean, you, I mean they already have you for like murder. Up there, Schofield is in the building. Take him. You guys go and cover that way. Schofield and Burroughs are in the building. I need, uh, directions. Where to, sir? But he was gonna, like, Utah. pretend. Utah. Oh, I'm going to Utah. <laughs> Your stuff. Uh, I, I mailed it yesterday. Mailed it? I've never heard of that. <laughs> you know, you don't want to lug it around. And plus, I got a boy who works for UPS, so we hooked it up. So you want to bounce? Okay. Hey, <laughs> you seem trustworthy. Let's go. Four hundred thousand for the animal who killed President Myrtle's brother. Every wacko in the country is going to be after those bums now, wouldn't you say? Man, fucking tastic. 
disbanded all the area hospitals. Wherever they are, one of them's bleeding good. Which means they either come to us or they die. Oh. Oh. Disaster. Clinics? They got band-aids and vaccines. Is that one of them then? The brothers come in for medical? They're getting in a van. I know it's not the brothers, so it's probably... The other six. I don't know. Eyes and ears on the Fowleys. So far, no hits. Maybe just laying low. What's the hardest thing in the world for a con to do? Nothing. Two <laughs> things in life are certain, is Lang. Death taxes and the fact that a man on the run will make a mistake sometime in the first 72 hours. Because he will leave behind the crumbs that will take us right to him. He's good. Plus, there's guys of families and shit. I need your help. Michael, what are you doing? Cayenne Pepper. What? It's fine. Let's just keep moving. We keep moving, that light keeps bleeding. The light keeps bleeding, and we're not getting out of Illinois. He's putting cayenne pepper on it? That's good. That's good. That's good. How are you going to get it, though? Still there? Nope. That would have been too much to ask for. Mm. Oh shit. How goes it, Roy? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> For my whole life. You see that reward they got? I guess I think you did that yourself, more kind of. You and I are alive. Somebody's gonna get that money, might as well be me. Right, maybe if it had been a straight shooter, or you wouldn't have. You know, a job like that might go a little smoother with an extra pair of hands. All right, I'll be right back with your vehicle. It shouldn't take but a few minutes. Do you have anything else in there? Because uh, they have your passports and all this bullshit. Hey, bro. Sorry, mate. Just forget about her. Get out. Like, find a new bitch. I don't know. All right. <laughs> gotta get it to your place. No, I, gotta, I know he loves her. Mind, and like, uh, Just find a way to get it there, okay? Wait, so get it. Hang it's on. It's like you have the chance to like. You're just making it more complicated for us. They're gonna find you because you're trying to. You're reunited with the love of your life. <laughs> I'm so cynical <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. Yep. About the, uh, about the broken window. Yeah, we got a disclaimer posted right there on the wall. Says yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about the broken window. <laughs> now the car's useless. I don't care about it. <laughs> yeah, you, you were the attending when I first started here. Sure. But this went without incident? You have the right to speak to an attorney before you speak to the police. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Mm. Have an attorney yeah, like, did you think you're just gonna future? walk out of there like nothing happened? Carolina, taking her in. Of course, I'll keep an eye on her. God, I hate this asshole. It's like everywhere. Go, go, yeah, go, that go. That vehicle might not be here when you get here. You need to send somebody in now. Do not let him leave. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, he got the keys. Ah. Oh, yeah, you just left the keys right there. What? We got the chatter. It's Franklin. He's at a payphone downtown. It's take number two. I know. I know, baby. Just let me explain, mm. all right? Were you ever even in the military? I served my country, and my country served me up. About me. No. They will. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh shit. They have. In the Rainbow Room. Restaurant in New York City. Do you remember that beautiful spot where we took that picture? I just want to know. Are you going to be there? I don't know. But you know me. Do I? Yes. Five miles. 
Stand by. Stay on Schofield. I want the license plate number of that Accord. I want you to get it out on a wire. Yeah. No. I'll call you back. It's just so hard to me, like... I mean, because they're just doing their job. Like, to them... Yeah, so these on. are criminals. And most of them are. <laughs> well, Miles, not Sorry, really. I don't know. I mean, any more than I already It sucks what happened to him, actually. Good luck. To you, too. So, um... There's no time! Leave! Well, I'm gonna throw your fat ass to the wolves. What if he doesn't know anything? Like, yes, you overheard something, but like, let's just say that he doesn't actually doesn't know anything. What is he supposed to do in this situation? And it would be in both of our best interests if that someone was not you. But to ensure this, certain steps need to be taken. One, don't blame the you other go to person. Daily recovery meeting. Two, you need to go before a judge and plead not guilty. And three, you need to tell the DOC. I will be appointed the new vice president of the United States. There will be a ceremony. You will be invited. You will not attend. Mm. Goodbye, Sarah. A piece of shit. Getting out early. Breaking out was just the beginning. Mm. Now it gets a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. Because me being strapped to the electric chair wasn't interesting enough. What I'm saying is inside we had the element of surprise. No one mm. knew what we were planning. There's something about this guy. Their time before he finds out about the money in Utah. Yeah. Bullshit. It's really good. Land in Mexico. Everything. Who? Yeah, for some reason you can't make it. Call me back at 9 God damn it. Just got this from surveillance. You remember that voicemail Schofield prepaid for when he went off to prison? Yeah. Someone just left a message on it. This prefix is this a plan? cell phone number as long as it's turned on. We can track exactly where he is. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not tense. I want to think that he's smart enough to, to kind of like figure out that maybe they're. The ones that have the bag or something? I don't know. License and registration. Yeah, I don't have any, either one of those things, officer. Is there a problem, officer? You know why I pulled you over today, sir? Speeding? You see your license and registration. Mm. Uh, the thing is, I, 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 I lost my wallet. Well, your tags are expired. Be right back. Mmm, god dang it. <laughs> so gross. So how you feeling, huh? Yeah, because this doesn't look weird at all. You keeping your appetite up? Sort of. I guess. That's good. That's real good. Oh god, it's so good to see you, baby girl. We are gonna be together real soon. I don't know. Okay. okay. Now I need you to tell her if she understood what I told her, and if she is willing to trust Daddy. This is so sad. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. Especially because he's not really a criminal. He just fell in hard, really hard times. He's not like a bad guy. There. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just go, go, Sukra, go, go, go. Mr. Miller, I'm gonna have to ask you to place your arms outside the vehicle, please. He, he gone. Mr. Miller, I need to see some hands. Run like the rent is due. 
And what are you gonna do? Just show up at this wedding? How are you gonna, like... It's just... It doesn't make sense. Faking their death is like that's the way to do this if it works. Wait, you're gonna leave all that shit in the bag? The music's not changing. Something's wrong. Course. I don't know. We're gonna need that explosion. Jam. God damn it, are you serious? Cause blow any second, man. The feds are gonna be here in about two minutes. If it doesn't look like we're dead, we will be. Rock, paper, scissors. Mike. Just... My turn. He's not dumb. Like they, he knows that they stopped for a while. Just let it go, man. Maybe do this later. Right now, listen. Wait, no, 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 no. Listen. I understand that he loves her, and that he wants to see her, and this whole thing was for her, like, to to be with her. Like, I get it. But first of all, that was really stupid because how like if they know about her they're gonna try and find you through her might as well just have like sat in your cell and waited for this whole thing because you didn't have how much time did you have six more months or something now you've gotten this like horrible situation where you're probably out of time to your sentence if you ever get caught and it's it seems you're gonna go all the way through to vegas it seems very unlikely i don't know maybe you make it but it just seems a lot it, it just seems a lot for someone that obviously does not want to be with you Ugh, i don't know Cause I don't know, like, is she gonna be like, oh yeah, let's run away together. Like, you're a fugitive. Do you think she's gonna be jumping in your arms and like, what, what, what kind of life are you gonna offer her and your child? It just seems like you didn't, you didn't think this through. I'm sorry. <laughs> I never used to be an addict. I, I don't think you ever used to be an addict. I think an ad be you're always an addict. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm an addict. Hi, Sarah. It's always there. You always have to fight it. It's a constant struggle. God damn you! I'm an addict. He's not gonna buy it. Like, he's not dumb. Which one of them was it? Shells. Shells? Schofield. Might be Schofield. Probably gonna find his brother in there, too. The fuck? Are those pills? I hope so. I He's not like drinking ink. <laughs> like he's so frustrated that he's just like drinking ink. Or maybe he's a shot of We'll be in Mexico by then. Provided the transport. Well, keep going. <sighs> oh come on, baby. It's Seven a.m. or so because. 
Seems very early. Like it. Hope it's morning. Can be 7 p.m., right? I need a little more. Take us right to him. <sighs> I can't even. I don't even know what to say. Everything's such a mess. Uh, I mean, for right now, they managed to um, get rid of the cops for a little bit, but I don't think that FBI agent like buys it. I, I, it's just too convenient. So yeah, but that's one of the only ones in their trail. And then you have uh, Miles and Sukra trying to be with the ones they love even though they're still fugitives and it's kind of crazy to me because how's that gonna work at least like for miles like she has he has a daughter right and um that's his wife but like for sukra like yeah like Okay, your girlfriend is gonna get married and she's pregnant. I get it, but like, dude, it just seems like you couldn't wait six months to get out and then, even if they got married, you could still like talk to her. There's some, there's a thing called divorce, you know? Maybe kind of like now that you're out and try to make a life for yourself the right way, she's gonna see that you can now provide a future for her and maybe if she still loves you then they could work but yeah you didn't want to wait because this guy got in her pants or whatever Ugh, it's just <laughs> ah i don't know i'm wondering who's gonna be the first one to get caught because at least one of them have to right one of them has to get caught so i don't know who that's gonna be we're gonna have to wait and see i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye